Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video today. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notifications so you can be notified when my videos do go live because you know YouTube be on a bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to the intro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're back again with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video today, of course. Yes. In today's video, we're going to be going over um, some of the reveals for Team of the Week. So we have two cards that they actually revealed to us today um, that we're going to be going over. Of course, the full Team of the Week is going to be revealed tomorrow on the Good Morning Madden stream at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, I will be recording that stream and it will be on my channel. When they do finish up their stream, that it will be uploaded. So you guys will be able to see um, what was the recap and what happened and what was revealed. So let's go ahead and get into this um, here. So here we go on X Ultimate Team, um, Madden Ultimate Team. They did tweet to us 4.5 sacks for Hayden Hutchinson, which is crazy. Three touchdowns and a 31 point win for Kyla Murray. Catch the full team of the week lineup on Good Morning Madden tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, hashtag Madden25. Now, if you haven't been living under a tree, they literally, last week, because we got the first team of the week last week, they literally decided to change up how they were going to be doing team of the week. And they pretty much said on top of that, hey, we're going to monitor the feedback on what we, on on how people respond to how this new team of the week layout is so essentially there is no ltds there is no packs the only thing that's in game is literally these cards which is set cards and of course the actual um the champions and the set card pieces so that's the other 85 overalls or whatever the lower overalls that's it so literally no packs in the store no ltds no nothing um ea hopefully um they got the feedback and hopefully um because from what i'm seeing here these are not there's not one ltd here i'm hoping that they decided to switch revert it back to the original team of the week because nobody asked y'all to change it but um this is going to be it so aiden hutchison right here 87 overall right in speed rusher aiden hutchison gets team of the week kim of course and lions kim I'm um, 85 speed, 88 excel, 83 strength, 83 tackle, 83 play rec, 80 block shed, 79 power move, 86 finesse move. Pretty damn good, not gonna lie to you. And he's like 6'7, so he's tall as shit. Um, let's go to Mud GG here and see exactly how he compares to the rest of the guys in game currently right now. Um, he's a right end. So let's see. Right ends. Let's check that out. Let's see what we got here right in so of course we got joe klecko he came out last weekend um 82 speed 80 finesse 87 power move 87 block shed um 86 finesse 80 block shed 83 strength very similar but faster um klecko is still better though because he doesn't get he does get x factors and these cards don't get any x factors uh michael parsons he's a beast 88 finesse 80 82 block shed um 78 strength 87 speed so he's not faster than micah micah's a monster um but we have the mouse garrett which is gonna be 83 speed very much more comparable um aiden ha is a lot faster than him and he has better finesse um so he's probably gonna be maybe the third or fourth best right in the game but he's pretty good though like i said he has good speed he got good finesse um all around balance pretty much so pretty good card but this is going to be one of the set cards for tomorrow next card we have 87 overall qb scrambler kyler murray um this motherfucker went off yesterday him and marvin harrison like that man had 130 uh marvin harrison had 130 receiving yards in the first half like insane <laughs> i don't know how the hell he didn't have about 200 <laughs> in the game to be completely honest with you but kyler was going off uh but he has he, 87 overall of course scrambler archetype 87 speed 87 throw power 84 short 82 medium 81 deep 85 throwing the pressure 87 throwing the run and 78 play action crazy enough because we're getting this Kyler murray today and on thursday we're gonna be getting the breakouts program release one and we're gonna be getting a jordan love which is gonna be one of the ltds for that program 
So funny enough, they were getting multiple quarterbacks this week. So be careful. Um, if you are planning to pick up this card tomorrow, a Jordan Love is literally about to drop in the next day. So just, just letting you know, giving you a heads up. But comparing him to all the quarterbacks in game, I don't know him, I don't know what his release is. So let me check out his release first. Kyler Murray. Here we go. So he has a 78 gold card. I'm um, not gonna lie, his gold card actually played pretty well. Between him and Justin Fields and a few other gold cards, they played pretty well. He has over the top six, and I have no clue what is fast and what's not, honestly. Um, but let's just go QBs. 87 speed seems to be kind of high. Um, Khalid Williams that just came out, he has 84. Besides that, Vic has 87, so Vic is up there. Very comparable to Vic. Um, Jaden Daniels, um, he's an 87. He should be an 88 this week. Um, and his speed may go up to 87, so he's going to be very comparable to that. CJ Stroud, not the fastest guy. Trevor Lawrence, 83. JJ, 84. So, honestly, very comparable to the Vic and Jaden Daniels, really. Those are the two cards, but Vic is hella expensive, so um, not really. But more more so Jaden Daniels than anything, honestly. Uh, but Kyle Murray is known to have pretty good release, so pretty good card. Not going to lie to you. Uh, the play action is kind of suspect, though. Not going to lie. The short, medium, deep, under pressure, cool, throwing the run, but the play action is kind of low. Not going to lie to you. But that is going to be it for the reveal. So we have Kyle Murray. And then, of course, we have Aiden Hutchison as well. So those are going to be the two. Like I said, hopefully they will revert back to the original Team of the Week format. I really hope they don't go a second week with the same format that they did last week. Because that was not it. That was not it at all. So we will see. Um, but that's going to be it for that. Anything else I have for you guys? I don't think I have anything else, honestly. Let me check Mutt Leaks real quick. Because you know how they be leaking stuff. So let me see if Mutt Leaks dropped anything um no so everything is in regards to the breakouts program so if you haven't checked out my previous video check that video out it goes over all of, all of this stuff in regards to the breakout program it goes over all that stuff so um check that video out and like that up share it continue to show love if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys continue to show love and we'll catch you guys on the next one